New tonight, U.S. Congresswoman Nancy Mace is demanding answers after a watchdog group called the White Coat Waste Project found the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases to have been testing and putting down dogs. News 2's Kate Prestak joins us now live in the studio. And Kate, you had an opportunity to speak with a congresswoman about what she says are her grave concerns about this issue. That's right, Carolyn. Representative May says according to documents obtained and shared with the congresswoman by the White Coat Waste Project, the treatment of the Beagle puppies are just a tip of the iceberg. The congresswoman claims the agency is responsible for spending $1.68 million in taxpayer funds on drug tests involving 44 Beagle puppies. And from October 2018 until February 2019, Six and eight month old puppies were injected and force fed an experimental drug for several weeks before they were killed. Representative Mace is joined by 23 legislators from both sides of the aisle in a letter addressed to Dr. Fauci, demanding information that confirms the experiments are where taxpayer money is going, confirms the amount of money spent, and confirming the alleged gruesome experiments. The Congresswoman is also calling for the director's resignation. Considering the lies that Dr. Fauci has told regarding COVID-19, whether it was the amount of funding that was going to the Wuhan lab, whether it was not American tax dollars were paying for gain-of-function research, we've been misled on a number of issues. I think even previous to this letter, there were grounds to force his resignation um, at the NIH because of uh, the misinformation that has been given by the NIH and by Dr. Fauci himself to the American people. We reached out to NIAID for comment and have not received any response. We have the Congresswoman's full letter on our website. That's CountOn2.com. Reporting live in studio, I'm Kate Prestak, CountOn2.